Alternative Arts Collective presents Ophelia's Blog! Number B. Um, so... Twilight Zone. I can't, I can't. It's not really happening. Oh. Check out our vlog on YouTube. Go to YouTube. I think I peed my pants a little. <laughs> I, I was like freaking out. Um, yeah, he called me and he was like, I haven't seen to Steve Garrison. We really liked your audition and we want to know if you want to party Hamlet. And, I, like, and then you were like, like, no. Having her be a woman completely changes. I mean, it, it fits a lot better, but it changes a lot of the stuff and it makes you look at things in a different way relationship with the mother is completely changed and then the fact that you know she, when she's portrayed by Ophelia and the mother you know there's a huge connection there. Horatio and melded it into Rosencrantz. So that must have been a huge change, and that came <laughs> mid rehearsal period. After I memorized all those lines! <laughs> Dream it! <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But how? it fits so much better. It fits better. I mean, Shakespeare is great and wonderful and a brilliant mm -hmm. and beautiful writer, but he's excessive in so much. And in order to mm -hmm. make it a little bit more palatable for a lot of people and to make it, um, more updated and modern, we had to skin the fat. Mm -hmm. And I think that in, in merging those two characters, first it makes Rosencrantz and Guildenstern much more separate, mm -hmm. rather than like this package deal. Yeah. You know, the way that we're approaching it with Rosencrantz slash Horatio, now that it's like, that's Hamlet's best friend, I love how we're doing it too, because it adds a whole other layer, because there's all these underlying things of like, what happened with Horatio and Hamlet? Yeah. What was going on there? Yeah. And David was brave enough to like push it and go there. But we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Suspense. <laughs> <laughs> I think that directors have a hard time like balancing whether they're too pushy or if they just leave you alone and don't give you any guidance. I think David's really good at balancing that. Like he's he's really good with making sure that you have the tools to discover who the character is and who you want to make the character be. David had such a specific and extreme vision that we literally had to rely on him completely. Totally trust him. And trust everyone else that, but trust him, that they, that he would say, yes, that fits, no, that doesn't. Because right. we don't know. Right. So we're just gonna keep throwing ourselves out there. An arm combined. Strike to short the griefs. You can be so rebellious to his arm by his very walls. Repugnant to command. Heroes, and pride and pride, and rage strikes! Why? But with the wind and wind of his spell, so the unheard of father's fall. Then, our abstraction was in nature that we would wind the sorrow they come in, together with the remembrance of ourselves. 
have those types of adjustments been for you? Huge challenge. I'm yeah. not going to lie. But I've kind of gotten a little bit used to it with David because I'm kind <laughs> of beginning to learn that he likes to change things yeah. as we made cuts yesterday. <laughs> Still, we're changing things. But it's okay because um, everything is making it better. the workshopping that we've done has mm -hmm. been awesome yeah um, and really a refreshing change because not a lot of directors go that extra mile right. to do that kind of stuff in Sacramento they just they mm -hmm. don't a lot of people either don't care they're too jaded they're too mm -hmm. lazy they're not smart enough they're not creative enough mm -hmm. there's so much time <laughs> someone put the weave your weave that got torn up during the fight scene <laughs> I you put it in you, you. <laughs> My weave got ripped out. <laughs> and then in my crazy scene, I opened it up and I was like, oh, Hamlet's hair! Oh my god! So that's why you should come see Hamlet. Oh my god. It's, it's the national dream of Hamlet. Of Elsinore, Denmark. <laughs> Elsinore is in the nation. See Hamlet because. See Hamlet because we have fantastic makeup. Uh -huh. Hamlet because of white girl weaves! <laughs> See Hamlet because flowers. See Hamlet because we have guns. See Hamlet because Boy Scouts. <laughs> See Hamlet because we kiss. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see you there. See you at Hamlet. Friday the 15th. Right? <laughs> the 15th. Yeah. I don't know.